So I had never actually played a uh, Pokemon Snap game before, and I said A when there's only the two, but I always wanted to, and I I don't know, I guess I just never got it as a kid and it upset me, because Pokemon Snap seems really cool, so I'm super pumped to play this. Uh, it really does not seem like creative character matters for this. I'm gonna go with the girl. And it knows my name! Very cool. Yeah, it, it's fine. It's all good. Pikachu? They got him in the game? They figured out how to find Pikachu? I find the volume in this game to be super weird. Like, this cutscene seems really loud, and then everything else is pretty quiet, so hopefully it'll mellow out appropriately. I never was a fan of Bunnelby. That's me! Oh, it's a stout land. Look at him. Hey, over here. <laughs> okay. Right, we went from pre-rendered to talk box, and they can't talk in this. Okay. Hey there, I'm glad you made it. This is the Pokemon world. Welcome to the Laboratory of Eco Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. Didn't have to spend too much time to fix lens into that, did you? My name is Mirror. That's not a tree, Professor. It's supposed to be a tree. I'm researching Pokemon in their natural environments here on Florio Island. Yeah, so... yeah, and that's not all. The Professor is gonna study every single island here in the Lentil Region. Lentil Region. <laughs> it's a weird name. Like beans? No one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. Uh -huh. No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? Ah, huh? oh, oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? I have not. What does he have there next to him? Can't but... figure out what Pokemon that was. But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. This is Vita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant, <laughs> Dodoy. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what we'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Yeah. Let me catch Pokemon. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Now. All right, allow me to explain. The Lentil Legion is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing... I don't know why I said it that way. Photographing these Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystems. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now, without further ado, here's our research camera. <laughs> I've got the same one. We can use them c to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. At least it doesn't have, like, a Rotom inside of it. That's right, it's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. It's almost like some kind of Pokedex. Look at that Dedenne running around up top. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here, so take good care of it. One of that's more so. Yeah, look at me with my camera. Yeah? Looks a little cheap. Ugh! That was surprising. What do you think? How did Dedenne get down here? Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Professor. It's a camera. Uh, did, can I explain how to use it, professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Vita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. Alright, come on. Let's go outside. Based on default button layout. That's weird that they wouldn't have, like, I guess, other <laughs> layouts <laughs> available. Let's see, aha, uh -huh, perfect timing. Getting Try getting... Pokemon. Oh, she is talking. Sometimes I don't... I need a... Yes, it's not a great photo. Oh, that one would have been better. Let me try again. It didn't let me move it before. So this can have motion controls, and I think I will try to do it. You can point the camera up and down, and even I can't take pictures. 
you can use motion controls to aim your camera. Yeah, what she said. That's what I want to do. Oh, ah. Look, here comes Pikachu. Pikachu. Try getting a shot of that Pikachu. First, move the pointer so it's lined up with Pikachu. When can I throw stuff at it? Did you see that shape appear around Pikachu just now? Whatever that shape is around is the subject of your photo. It'll be important. I remember. I, I'm guessing you're talking about the like square around it. Try snapping a photo. That's it. Ah, Pikachu loves it. Since Pikachu's a little far away, it looks kind of small. Times like this call for zooming in. Thanks. To zoom in, just hold the ZL button. You'll stay zoomed in until you let go. Try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. Get up there. Look at that Pikachu staring me in the eye. Great! See how much bigger it looked that time? You want your subject's whole body smack dab in the middle of the frame, looking big. Looks like you've already gotten the hang of using... What do you mean middle of the frame? Shouldn't I do rule of thirds or golden ratio? Imagine, like, a difficulty setting, like, easy mode is in the middle, normal is rule of thirds, and then you got golden ratio as hard difficulty. Uh, I really need to get into the settings. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all, Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are the best. I mean, the Vavillian one's not great, but whatever. Obviously, the closer one would be better. Look at that, you can barely even see it. Awful picture. Get rid of it, I don't even want that Vavillian picture. Starting with photo number one. Number one, Pikachu. This is the first time you've gotten your subject. I don't know if you say anything unique. I came up with a system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. But as a Pokemon are in an ordinary state, get fewer star. More unusual behavior means more star. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photo. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high pose score. Now on to the other factors. Okay. So, size is straightforward. Larger is better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Get a face view. Placement. Try to get the Pokemon in center. Finally, you'll get a bonus point if other Pokemon are in the photos with your subject Pokemon. Now, I know that is a lot of info all at once, but it's pretty straightforward if you just read what the title of these scores are. Let me boil it down, remember this, and it'll be fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap and shudder. With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. It's bad. It's fantastic. The best thing... That kind of looks like a Silver Star. I wonder if that can be better. Pavilion. This is an awful picture. A new discovery. Nice work. Toss it in the trash. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't bad shot at all. It's terrible. Look at it. Awful. I hate it. Get rid of it. All right, let me go do my own thing now. What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work towards. All right. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. Yeah, adventure, let's go. Now then. That should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photography expedition. By the way. It's called a Neo One. <laughs> it's the best. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago with a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Jeez. Come on, Professor, the details can wait. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. <laughs> I know you guys hate your uh, million hour long tutorials in Pokemon games. So, like, I don't know why, but this part's super loud, and then the rest of the game is super low. 
And there I go, off into space. I'm sure there will be other cutscenes that end up being a lot louder. But like that one... And I, I just couldn't get it to reach any better, like, output. I'm sure this will be fine, though. I'm gonna take pictures. First, I'm gonna mess with settings. You can change various settings. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna do motion controls. We're gonna up the sensitivity all the way. I heard that they talk a lot. If it gets annoying, we can totally shift that off. Uh, camera speed and pointer speed. No, no, I need to confirm. I, I realize now that I've not been confirming. I did that with this though, right? Okay. Uh, as far as this goes, I'm just going to lower the sound effects to A, and that should hopefully be fine. Yeah, I think that's all the settings I had before. Okay. That's the entrance to Florio Nature Park. Revillian. The Neo One will automatically follow a set route. I want that Gookie. Oh, they ran! They hate me! I can't do anything else besides take the photos right now. Bufo dance. Can't really get good pictures of them either. Pavilions. It's a little awkward to look around, and for the most part, I am using the um, the stick because the motion controls I can't like turn around as fast as I might want. But with the motion controls, I can kind of get a little bit. Oh, Molga! That's the best Pikachu. Listen, out of all of the Pikachus, Amolga is probably my favorite. Unless if you count, like, Raichu or Mimikyu, but I don't think those count. Okay, I don't know if that Amolga is going to turn around. Wurmple! Oh! Oh, that would have been a better picture, probably. Not great pictures of Wurmple, but it's fine. Oh! That was awful. There's a little weird thing there. Cool swanas. I feel like I, I would like to test it out, but I feel like this game would be significantly better in handheld mode. Oh, Doduro, why do you do that? I'm a little too excited. This is great. The thing with Pokemon Snap and why it's like such a fantastic game series. What's going on over there? I'll see you guys again. Comparative to, like, other spinoffs or even the mainline games, is, like, this is the closest we can get to an actual, like, ideal look at a Pokemon world. Like, if you remember the Pokemon movies, most of the time, at least the original handful of movies, started with Brock explaining what Pokemon are to the parents when they were, like, in theaters. What's that? Oh, it's a hoot hoot, right, because it's, it's sleeping. Uh, and I feel like that was always the best part of the Pokemon movies. Like, no joke. Just because it, like, shows the Pokemon in their, like, natural environments, hanging out. Jigglypuff hanging out in, like, an urban setting singing, though. That's a little weird, but it was, like... That's a good Talo. I'm pretty sure that was center in the frame, too. Actually, there was one setting I wanted to change. I do want the, um... Frame guide to be simpler. I'd prefer not to have it in the way. I wish I... I still don't think I got a good picture of Vivillion. But, like, I always just loved that part in the Pokemon movies when Brock's like, this is the world of Pokemon! And then, like, the music, like, really starts pumping. It's, like, orchestral, and it's, like, so... Oh, is it, did you wave at me? And, like, really just gets you hyped up. And, like, this is that feeling to me. Taylo, why for me? I never was a fan of Florges. I think it's just weird that it's not considered a grass type. Hello? Oh, you wave too. That's very kind. Oh, okay. We're, we're done. Anything else? The end of the course. I want, I want to take more pictures. Okay, we're done. It's just neat seeing Pokemon hanging out in the environment and not being just like 
random encounters or very still models hanging out on the overworld. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in Florio Nature Park. Anyway. Now, just like before, it's time to show off those photos. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. Why you gotta be like this, though, Professor? Uh, I mean, it's... That has two Pokemon. This is more center, though. That's probably better. Pichu. Grookey. Ooh, that's a two-star Grookey. I mean, it is the better one. Look at him. That was him bouncing on those Talos like an asshole. I like that one more. Uh, not great Bufidons. I think that was more center. Obviously not great Emolga either. I need to kind of get used to the controls a little bit more. I mean, that's face forward. Get that Wurmple butt face going. That's a lot better. That was very far away. I don't want to spend too much time deliberating when these are like awful pictures. I guess Bidoof butt's good enough. Same with Hoo but a lot of butts right now. Oh, why is that three? So he made it sound like, I think it is just how they're posing indicates the star ranking, right? So I think because that one was waving, it's a three. And then Floor just, we had that one waving two, which turned into a three. Okay. I think that makes sense, because all the other poses were more like natural. Where the um, Comfy and the Floor just were doing something unique. I don't know what the Grookey was doing, though. Nice work. Uh, I see it's in flight. Nice work. I mean, is it never not in flight? That is definitely a better picture. And the star is unique. Is that... Is that, like, diamond? It's very shiny. Was that the best picture I could ever take of a pavilion? I'm already a photography master. Uh, it's kind of hard to, like, click through this because it starts zooming real quick. Nice Grookey. He didn't say nice, but I think it's a nice Grookey. It looks curious. He does have some unique things. Replacement is looking good. Tenor subject. And then that's a gold rank. So, like, the stars can have better rankings to them. Next is Dodrio. Nice work. It seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. I feel like that's, uh... You're lying to me. It's gold. I'm assuming that's gold. Like, sometimes bronze and gold kind of get mixed up for me. A new discovery. Great I see. Fascinating. I kind of was skipping way too much. Try getting close-ups of Pokemon's faces, too. Did you see how far away they were? Now that looks like a bronze. What do you expect from me? <laughs> That's a, a interesting Amolga shot. Nice work. I see it's in the flight. Nice work. Keep it up. Not a great picture. I could definitely get one a bit closer. A new discovery. I feel like it's not nice really work. worth reading what he has to say. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. That has to be a good Swana picture, right? Like, look at that. I see it's in flight. I love it. Yeah, look at that. That has to be like a diamond rank. S tier one star photograph. That's an awful Magikarp because it's miles away. It's fine. Maybe start zooming a little bit. A new discovery. Nice work. It seems calm. I like he says kind of general stuff. I'm guessing just based on what they're doing. If I have like, let's look at the unique discovery. photos to see if he says anything special about those. Like Hoo Hoot's just sleeping. It's an a awful picture. Discovery. Nice work. All right, Comfy is like waving, and I think that makes a it special. Now, uh, this you don't see every day. Perfect timing, you did wonderfully. See, that's like a very general, like, phrase, I guess. The direction could be better. Watch for when it looks right at the camera. It's, listen, why don't you go out there and take pictures? All right, now that has to be like a beautiful, look at that. Yeah, he just says that you don't see that every day when it's more than a one star. Oh, that was beautiful. It's nice when the subject's looking at the camera, I think. It, like, hitting A a little bit just makes him speed through that. So, like, I don't think it really matters. So, what anyway. did you think? One last thing, let me tell you about research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. Mm -hmm. 
That means getting photographs of them in every category from one to four. So in short, fill up that photo dex, keep that in mind, and it'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. I will cherish them, Professor Mirror. That can't be his like real name, right? Like he had to change his name to that. Look at that, you've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes no matter how small. And I got a present, photo program newbie. You research Floria Nature Park for the first time. Lover's Tree, Lover's Tree, Rogue has researched Floria Park for the first time. You got a score of 500 points or more on other Pokemon categories. Uh, I think that's all for like online, which I don't have online currently on my Switch, so not gonna get to enjoy that. We'll see what we can look at, though. It's... It, like, just... I feel like it... Pokemon Snap just gets that, like, child wonder from me that I had when I first discovered Pokemon. That covers just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Oh, night- Oh, because of who, who, who sleeps in the daytime, nighttime, ooh! Not yet, but soon, after a little more practice. I don't need practice! Give me stuff that I can throw at Pokemon and I'm ready to go. By the way, don't forget that you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. Uh, I guess we'll stop by the lab. Just to get that out of the way. Here. This is the professor's lab. Not that it's your first time here, of course. I don't even know why I'm talking to you right now. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he pretty much lives here. I mean, is there anywhere else for him to live? Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. Excuse me. That server over there, you mean the Audino? Is where we store our research work. Oh, sir, the computer server I thought like a Audino slave there are a few things you can do with all that data first first you can check your photo decks that's the encyclopedia record you're building with the photos you're taking <laughs> isn't it cool getting put together your very own photo decks yeah. sure as next there's your space that's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones By the way. I think those were the like name tags we got your album is for photos you want to keep but not put in your photo decks. That's cool. You can edit your album photos in some cool ways, too. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Hey, prof- Oh, she said it. Hey, professor! Was there anything else I was supposed to mention? Also. Also? That's not part of the text, professor. Did you cover what you can do on the internet? Oh, yeah, that was it. If you use the online internet feature, that seems a little bit redundant, but whatever, you can see photos from players all around the world. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer, nice job, by giving the photo a little digital medal. <laughs> They're called SWEET medals. Give all you want, people love getting them. Great. That's right, you can also see other photographers ranking in each score category. Okay. Alright, I think that's everything. I, I Online on this could be super fun. I'm sure they'll figure it out all quick. Right. Don't be shy, try everything out. And despite all of that, the tutorial is still a lot shorter than mainline games. Alright, so research titles. Uh, as you progress through the survey, check here to see. There's a big chunk of them. Together with friends! Uh, I guess it's not like a tag you equip on online. Research log. Oh, this is like... High scores, okay. My info. Maybe this is where you change stuff. And change. Look at that! Ah! Oh, I'm surprised! <laughs> what are the other ones? What's that, like a lighthouse? Orb machine. I, this doesn't really matter because, again, I don't have. I'm not online. But, <laughs> okay. Surprise face. Surprise Pikachu Whoa. face. Perfect. Oh, there I am! Surprise Pikachu! Pokemon, show me photos of Pokemon to make a page for it. On that page, you can move your pointer, press A to see movement, and hear its cries. If you discover it has other forms, you'll be able to... Okay, other forms. Ooh. Is it actually different categories? Because Flora just has a couple different colors. It shows red flowers, so... Does that have its own categories? They're all under the same Flora just... Comfy. 
Wormple. How do I... He loves it. Taylo. Hutut. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty exciting stuff. I don't think there's much reason for us to look at that stuff right now. Frankly, maybe not even any reason to look at it at all, but... I'm getting a little too giddy and excited about this. Uh, and then there's more stuff I could have looked at there. Uh, time to do more research. Why are you still talking to me? Are you headed out on another expedition already? It's the only thing I can really do. Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan! I thought you were going to say you can chuck fruit or Pokemon with it. That will give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Hey, so Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. So. Basically, anything that makes the system go, Check this out! That is not a solid answer, Professor. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're gonna get. Yep. Yeah, Frida knows. We'll get a hang of it once you try it, Frida. <laughs> I knew Frida was wrong, but I kind of love that. Would you mind demonstrating? Yeah. At least I didn't call you, like, Frito Chips. Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. Oh, we're gonna tutorialize again. Tutorials are based on default layout. Running a scan is easy. All you gotta do is press the X button. Yes, I do have to look at my Try Nintendo controller sometimes. Try it out. I'm. I still get a little tripped up by X and Y. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? Yep. That tells you there's something you can take a closer look at. Okay. First, move the pointer over the question mark. I understand. Did you see the pointer change shape? I, I sure did. I you to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever's there. Give it a try. I'll try my best. It doesn't even let me move the cursor after I get it up there. The Neo 1, this vehicle is essential for your Pokemon research. Come to think of it, I heard that a friend of a professor's came up with the name Neo 1. Well, pretty easy, right? When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. Okay, so it tells me when I need to scan. That's good. I would hate having to just well, constantly spam the right scan button. Scan to get a careful look around. Oh, right. I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. I wonder if the electrical signal thing means that electric Pokemon are more prone to it. The professor calls it an accidental speed cheese feature. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. I thought we would be able to, like, test it with Pikachu. Hey, professor, explanation's all done. Thank you. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. Now can I go? First of all. Okay, we're just going to the park again. But now we can scan things. Why don't we take a bunch of photos and surprise the professor with them? Are you with me, Rita? I don't think you're taking the photos with me, Rita. Get out of here. They might be, like, in their own little section of the park doing their own thing. Or it's a video game and they're actually not a character doing anything of importance. I'm just thinking too hard about these things. Ooh, boof. Vedants are hanging out here. Ooh, yeah, they reacted. Okay, but I still missed my chance for, like, a better picture of that. See, that's the problem with the uh, motion controls. It doesn't quite have enough reach. So that was me just trying my damnness to move with that. Uh, I wonder if that's a good picture. Uh, sleepy boy. Ooh, Bidoof! Rah. Yeah, he loves it. Do it again. Alright. Took a little too many pictures there. Amoga! Looks like it's kind of doing the same thing. Uh, okay, there's this... Thing there. I was trying to get Amolga's attention. Mm, 
I think it's standing there might have been better. Wait, was that something? I thought I saw something up there. There's something over here, though. Amoga! Damn it! Screwed up. Lost my Amoga chance. I don't know if I need to be more careful with how many, uh... Photos I take. I do see that I have... Ooh, ducklings, too. I do see that I have a limit. But, like, how... Ooh. Oh, I thought that was me that made them upset. Want to get them in flight. Uh, I'm just wondering if, like, how crazy can I actually get with taking photos? You see? That tail looked weird. It, like, its wings almost looked like it was low frame rate, but I think that was just me. Oh, that Pichu looked upset. wonder if Dodrio was doing something that shouldn't have. Oh, Bidoof! Oh, they're doing a little dam. As Bidoof should do. <gasps> Adorable. Um, this fruit grows in until Tangrowth love them. Okay. Weird. We got a better Magikarp right here. He's just hanging out, doing what Magikarps do. What are you having me scan? The Hoo Hoo? I know it's there. Usual way of sleeping, always on one foot. He's not sleeping on one foot, though. He's like, kind of looks like he's wedged in there. Like, he might be stuck. Uh, oh, he did do a pose. I need to scan a lot more for the, like, posing. Maybe I can get this, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, do something. Okay, Taylor didn't feel like doing anything. Uh, oh, we're... I guess I upset you. Oh, Comfy, that would have been a better picture, I think. It's time. It's not time. Shut up. Let me just enjoy myself. So yeah, there's an orange one here. That Bufidon has flowers on its head. It's adorable. Eh, it wasn't a great picture. Wait, 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 wait. Proof it on. Damn it. I want a little bit more extra time. Alright, give me more stuff to interact Welcome with the Pokemon back. with. Welcome back. Took way too many pictures. Ah. Uh... I don't like that one. I don't know if it'll be any better. Ooh, that one's unique, probably because it has the flower on its head. Was that like Comfy that did that or Florges? I don't really know enough about those Pokemon. Ah! <laughs> this one or that one? I think that one's better. Oh, I thought that picture would be like great because they had the little things in their mouths. Uh, that one. Kind of awful altogether, but whatever. I think that one looks better. It's like closer, more straightforward. None of these were great. That one didn't even have them in frame, apparently. Not clearly visible. It's right there. What do you mean, not clearly visible? I'll see if that one is better in some way. That was only a one star rank. Uh. Go with that one. Now then. Let's see what you got. Nice work. Alright, that one was better, so we'll just keep that. Nice I, I don't know if we need to worry about keeping them. Okay, and then it keeps each star ranking. That's neat. Nice work. Nice work. Oh, really that Bidoof butt was better? Okay. You say so. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Yeah, I. They were both good, but that one like looks a lot better. I think it's not even in the center unless it's the wing count it. Look at the little ducklet. 
a new discovery. Nice work. I've never been the biggest fan of Duckler or Swana, but they're pretty neat as just like I, I don't know. I, I would say that there's a lot of Pokemon that I might not be fan like a big fan of, but I think are pretty decent as just these Pokemon exist for like background characters. Like Finian and like a lot of the fish Pokemon basically are like, eh, they're fine. It's just nice to have a good variation on fish. The same with birds like Swan and Ducklet. It's like, yeah, that's that's cool. Okay, give me big points. Mm -hmm. Not enough to level up. Your photos get better and better. I'll make sure to research keeps up your progress. I get a present. Look this way. Smack dab in the middle. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. So save photos, I think, is what they meant about you can like save what you didn't necessarily put in the professor's photo decks, which is pretty neat. But I don't think I cared about any of those that much I want to save. I just want more progress. Hello. Your photography seems to be going well. Anyway. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Nature Park. Here's the Caterpie! Hopefully you'll get to see one of Lintel's greatest wonders, the Caterpie, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. Speaking of... You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step towards my ultimate goal. I want to glow as well, finding the special Pokémon spoken of in Legends of Lintel. Wow. You mean the Illumina Pokémon? I thought they were made up! <laughs> Look at that Nessie picture! What does that look like? I almost feel like I can see a Pokemon in that. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? That's like a cloud. What? You can barely tell what's in those photos. And they're ancient. Anyway, literally a hundred years ago. Right now. Ancient anyway, literally a hundred years ago. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. I will. Thank you. Let me play Pokemon! Did you, know? Did you know at night there's Pokemon? Crazy. Okay, is it gonna be like the same path but different, unique? I mean, obviously the Hoot Hoot would be the... the big change I can think of. I'm wondering what else might be out here at night. What are some cool nighttime Pokemon? Score Bunny? Look at him running! I do like Score Bunny's like hot feet. Oh, a bunch of Pokemon sleeping. That has to be a good Bidoof. Does the um when it shows you the photograph at the bottom, yeah, it kind of tells you if it's like a good one. There's like a bit of a shine to it. Where did Score Bunny go? Ooh! Score bunny. What are you doing over here, Score Bunny? What a weirdo. Just standing by that Bufferdon. Was that a Tangrowth? Oh! Let me see you. Hello. I love Tangrowth. Was never a fan of Tangela, but I don't know. Making him larger just. It's more appealing to me. Oh, more crow makes sense. Um, a pincer is coming out of the. Look at him. That caterpie I'm kind of missing out on, but that pincer is way too cool. That was amazing. Obviously, my center is in... Oh, Torterra's sleeping! Oh, there's a Glowy. What is that? Skarmy? Oh, no, it's just another Swana. 
Look at everyone sleeping over there. I wonder if it's a different score if they're sleeping. Is there some? Oh. Is there something over there? Is that unique? Oh, it's like uh, toadstools, I think. Or not toadstools. I don't know what the shelf toad stools. Mushrooms are called. They like grow on the side. Oh, look, there's that hoo hoo. I forgot their eyes glow. It's been a bit too long since I've seen hoo hoo doing things. Ooh, I saw Grookies over there. Oh, you're mad at me. Oh, look at them sleeping together. That's adorable. I don't want Torterra as the subject, though. I want Pichu and Grooky. I mean, Torterra is a great subject, too. Where's Hoot Hoot? Oh, I surprised you. That's a good one. Right in the center. Anything else around here? Oh, hello. Pinscher was hanging out. Uh, the scan does work on that. What? Why was that Torterra lit up like that? Was there something unique about it that I didn't know? Ooh, combis. So the like there has to be a female one somewhere in here, right? What am I scanning? Was it that? Oh, that's the flower. That score bunny hanging out up there. I thought one in the distance would be a female. Hey, do you copy? We just picked up a huge energy. I don't care, score bunny's sleeping on top of Torterra. Damn. I'm sure there's just like a random female one in that group though somewhere. I didn't see any of them having the uh marking on their head. What if they're gonna have like the gender being shown? We've got a lot to discuss, but first let's go and evaluate those photographs. Take a load of this photograph. Okay, what um Oh that's a one star? Oh. <laughs> Look at I'm hanging out. I kind of like the running one. Just Oh, that's not even like... It doesn't have the light. Okay, I'm gonna go with this weirdo picture. Mm, I like that one. Still doesn't have any special ranking. That does, for some reason? I guess the interaction... <sighs> that seems like an awful picture, but should I just take... Ah, I'm sure I can get it some other way. Just get Tangrowth in the center. Ooh, that's a three. I wonder what about that interaction made it a three star. Was it the yelling? I thought maybe it would be flying, but that one like clearly is flying and that makes it a one star. <laughs> Look at him coming out of the ground. Uh, bad Caterpie, but it was the best I got. Sleepy boy. Uh, we want glowy. I guess the, if they have that glow, they are unique. Have one picture of everyone sleeping. That's a good hoot hoot. That hoot hoot's great. Let's do this. Time to check out these photographs. Look at Score Bunny hanging out. A new discovery. Nice work. It looks curious. Nice Move it on. Better ranking, that's fine. I kind of like the flower more, but whatever. Yeah, at least that's not a Bidoof butt. <laughs> Pidgeot looks tired. Probably shouldn't be hanging out at night. Never considered Pidgeot like a night Pokemon. Look at that Murkrow. Look at both of them hanging out. Nice work. Yeah, that's a great picture of Murkrow. Look at that. I never liked Pinter as a kid. I think it's just because its mouth scared me. Especially the fact that all of those teeth move individually. It's kind of messed up. 
Wow, that's a caterpie, all right. My new discovery. Nice work. I wonder if there were any, like, in the trees or something. Shocked combi. Discovery. Nice work. Oh, that sleepy boy. A new discovery. Great timing. Mm, nice work. Nice work. It's not great, but it's nice uh, three stars, so it's better than nothing. That's better. Mm, nice work. Mm, nice work. Yeah, great hoo hoo. Alright, what are we talking about now, Professor? Professor, what you got for me? Ready leveled up, nice. I think we leveled up the first time, though, in the daytime park. In a new stage of research, keep your eye open, have these name tags that don't mean anything as big as possible. Moon! By the way, thanks to the progress you made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think we'll be pleased to hear this. Turn to camp. I like that there's a retry button, even though it's not letting us use it right now. I'm assuming that's just because story stuff is happening. But being able to, like, immediately just go back if you want to. Especially if you, like, miss a photo you might want to take.